Hello everyone, Grits here. Welcome back to Space Hold Tactics. Uh, in this episode, we're going to start to get into the nitty gritty of the game and uh, start to deal with a lot of uh, the upgrades and things you can do to your squad. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Sergeant, I have deployed additional Battle Brothers to your location. A heavy weapons bearer and apothecary will join your squad. Wait. An Imperial warship is approaching the Blood Crusader. It bears the penance of the Inquisition. Attention, sons of Sanguinius. This is Inquisitor Jost von Marburg, acting on behalf of the Holy Ordo Xenos of Terra. Stand to and prepare to receive new orders. This is Brother Captain Obaldo, commander of the Blood Crusader. Tell me, Lord Inquisitor, how was it possible for you to receive the distress call from Gorgonum? The warp storms in this sector are smothering all long-range astropathic communications. We received no signal, Captain. We knew this Space Hulk would be here. Our records call it the Forsaken Doom, and we have been aware of it for a long time. You knew. And yet, you sent no advance warning? It is not your place to question the will of the Inquisition, Blood Angel. The Ordo Xenos has a special interest in this particular derelict. It changes nothing. Your mission is to attempt to save Gorgonum. You may proceed with my blessing. Lord Inquisitor, I must speak. This is Wiltrand Lerzak, Fabricator General of the Forge World Gorgonum and faithful servant of the Machine God. I beg of you, we desperately need the support of the Ordo Xenos. I have no troops, no battle retinue to offer. I am merely here to observe. Observe, my lord? And may I ask why you will not intervene? You may not, Captain. Very well, Inquisitor. As for you, Fabricator General, my battle brothers have a mission and an enemy to kill. By the throne's light, that is all the Emperor's angels require. We are most grateful, honored Captain. Although it may not be enough to halt the derelict's advance, Gorgonum's planetary and orbital defenses are at full alert. We will open fire on the Hulk when it is within range. My crew and my kinsmen will take the brunt of this fight, fear not. But your expertise will be welcome aboard the Blood Crusader. Our ship still bears the wound of our last battle. I would bid you send us your most learned tech priests and all supplies you can muster. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, let's get into a little bit of background. So we are the Blood Angels. Our uh, legion is known for, uh, at the end of the uh, heresy, uh, about 10,000 years ago, our leader, Sanguin Sanguinus, or I'm not exactly sure how it was pronounced, um, basically um, gave his life to help the Emperor take down Horus and... Uh, at that point, we went into, the Legion went into a berserker mode, and we just started killing everybody that was part of the coup to get rid of the Emperor, and that's kind of how we got our name and our um, uh, legendary status of the Blood Angels. This uh, uh, guy who just came in, is part of the Inquisition, which was also developed at that same time. And their primary job is kind of like a clandestine group, legion, that will go around and basically they're trying to get rid of everybody who even thought about uh, taking part in the coup. And, you know, now we are here 10,000 years later, and... Uh, we can go ahead and uh, look at what we have here on the screen now. So this is the Hulk that we boarded. And this was those uh, two training missions into the Abyss that we took care of. Um, we received components for that, 480. Um, there are four clues in this Hulk. 
and there are three Gene Stealer samples in this Hulk. If you complete missions here, you get more components, which we'll use to upgrade, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, here is where you get these samples of the Gene Stealers, and we do need three of them. So, this is the map going through this enormous space hulk, and we can kind of choose the path. Um, you know, obviously you can backtrack, but like here, you know, you're kind of forced to go into an, a specific order, and then you have a choice. You can go here or here. We'll make those decisions as we go. But what we'll probably do is end up working down to the end of a line and then backtracking and so on and so forth so we can accomplish every mission. Now, these, uh, it says there's something here. I have no clue what that means. So, let's take a t uh, hit T for squad management. Okay, so this is where we manage our squad. We are the Blood Angels, and right now we have selected our sergeant. And uh, I just love the detail of the armor here. This is just absolutely incredible. I'm not sure if I discussed it last time. Um, essentially, these are heavily augmented humans. It's gotten to a point where you cannot separate the human from the machine. There's been genetic things that have uh, been done to these humans. Um, for example, they have a second heart, um, uh, bigger muscles, all of this stuff, um, DNA manipulation and physical manipulation so that they can use this tech. But again, you cannot separate the, the man from the machine anymore. And that also allows them to live hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. So um, again, Blood Angels, this is our sergeant, our main character. These are the cards that he has available to him. You can see the upgrade costs here. And essentially, uh, let's see, let's hide this. Um, the cards that we can upgrade for him is uh, for the Emperor. And it uh, target a Terminator. His next melee attack is a success. So we can go ahead and um, buy these upgrades. You can upgrade his weapons. Right now he has a power sword, and this is on the screen. Take the time to read it if you want. Um, our primary weapon right now is a power sword and a storm bolter. We can change that to a thunder hammer, which uh, is a, another melee type weapon, and then a, a storm shield. So we'll stay with the uh, what we have now. And then you can add modules to your uh, uh, Blood Angel. And right now there are no modules to add, but you would add them in these two locations. And again, that gives you bigger buffs. Um, the second guy on here is uh, the Assault guy. And uh, his upgrades are 400, so we could afford to do that now if we wanted to. Eek, uh, what just happened? What did I do? Oh, I think it tried to, when I clicked on it, it uh, actually tried to do the upgrade. Um, the upgrade is uh, a plus two on his melee. Um, weapons, he can go to from a storm bolter to a chain fist. Um, and then a lightning claw. And again, that stuff's on the screen there. Feel free to pause the video and read it. Um, then the next three Marines... Let's see, that was uh, heavy weapons, right? Oh no, all three of these are assault. And then this last guy here is the heavy weapons. So, um, go back to here on the cards. Um, we can get him a plus one on his next shot. Again, this is all based off of die rolls, 2d6. And, you know, you have to roll correctly to win. And this gives you a plus one, making it better. Uh, the weapons, um, the Storm Bolter, the Assault Cannon, which he is currently carrying, you can see there. Um, he can get a Heavy Flamer and a Plasma Cannon. So, um, looks like we have just the five Marines for now. I don't know if we're going to get any more. That's normally um, 
what a typical squad is in this game. So I don't think we're going to go ahead and spend any of these points right now. Let's uh, just move forward and see what happens. So let's go ahead and click on the next adventure. And let's see, enter to confirm. Okay, so uh, let's see what's happening. Why are we not uh, doing anything here? We're definitely moving through the Hulk. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently we had made it that far. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out after this this uh, uh, run. Yeah, because those two... Huh. We're just moving through the Hulk, but not doing anything? Be watchful. We may find relics or other items of use. Allow nothing to escape your gaze. Okay, so maybe these aren't actual individual missions. They're just uh, points we click on. So um, we can go here or here. I'm thinking we'll go here and head down this way real quick. Um, we got 50 components. We got an additional 50 components. I'm thinking that the maybe there's a random aspect to the actual attacks. Or maybe we won't see an attack until we get all the way down there. There's an additional uh, 50 components. This is... Um, yeah, this is kind of weird. Okay, so there's another 50. Another 50. There's something here. Uh, Brother Sergeant, we have detected a hostile presence ahead. It appears to be a group of gene stealers. Seek out and purge these Xenos. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're just kind of moving through the Hulk. And uh, there are no real campaigns at this point. It's just a, a matter of moving through. Um, looks like these are the threats. Um, this gauge represents a glowing threat from the gene stealers present on the Hulk. Each time the squad moves, the threat increases and eventually will be triggered. Um, okay, so as we're moving through this, every time we move, there's a chance that gene stealers are going to show up. So the more movement, the higher the chance. So there's going to be a time in the future where we may not have want to have gone and picked up all of those components we might want to just move straight ahead and you can see here there's now one two three four on the map so this is almost kind of like inside that campaign where they can show up well now they're showing up on the big map as well so let's click here and see what happens a large group of gene stealers suddenly emerges from the walls the crawling mass prevents us from moving forward we can't delay any more. The confrontation is inevitable. Bless your weapons and attack for the Emperor. Okay, so this is the uh, the main map. We have to kill all the gene stealers, and we have 12 turns to do it. Uh, we'll get 200 uh, components. If we lose, we'll lose 50 components, and they'll probably make us run it again. So, um... I'm going to suggest that the greens are maybe doors or um, other marines inside or, or points of interest. This is probably where we enter and I'm not exactly sure where we exit. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay so here is our squad and wow they just look bad ass. Um, Looks like each one might have its own movements. No, it's kind of the same. Um, let's see, if we clicked on here. Okay, it takes us to the squad management and allows us to do upgrades. Again, I'm not sure we want to upgrade anything at this point. 
Um, let's go ahead and save the money. So let's just go ahead and uh, hit ready. Okay, yeah. So we are going to deploy on this point here. There are gene stealer blips on the map already. These greens were doors right here. And uh, let's see, let's go into... We can't go into the other view until we actually uh, uh, place a, uh, a unit down. Um, there's a door there. There's a door here. There's a, a blip there. Uh, there's a blip there. There's a blip here. There's another door with a blip behind it. Does not look like, and there's another door with a blip behind it. It does not look like we can, um, or there is no exit, I should say, because we're not supposed to exit. We're just supposed to kill everything that's here. So we need to determine how best to do that. So I'm thinking if we create a, uh, put a, uh, a regular guy here, he can come down here and set overwatch to protect this area. Then we can put the, maybe the heavy weapons to sit there and take care of that. And then everybody else can head this way. So we're probably gonna wanna put uh, assault here Heavy weapons here, assault here to back him up, uh, assault here to back him up, and then uh, our sergeant there. Yeah, let's give that a try, see what happens. So um, the sergeant we'll place here, and we'll let him face uh, that way. Then we're going to place the heavy weapons here. Let's see, two for the heavy weapon bearer here and facing that way. Uh, an assault here and we'll let him face the wall. An assault here and he can face that way. And an assault here and have him face the wall. And then what we'll do is we'll do a diagonal step rather than having to invest the points to turn. So um, everybody has been deployed. Um, next turn. Okay, so we have gone into the tactical view. not really letting me turn to see much because of the direction we were facing. Let's go ahead and get rid of the tactical view and the first person and let us start with um, the assault him. We're gonna bring him to here and face that way. Now the gene stealers can move six, so this guy can go one, two, three, four, five. He cannot quite get to us. Um, we do not have enough points to set him into Overwatch. Um, we'll take um, this guy and move him behind him. And he'll just back him up with the overwatch while we go this way and try and take care of some business. So. We'll get all these guys moving down this way. Okay, so that was all of our AP points. There's only one guy with any AP left. Oh, and us, the, the sergeant and this guy here, because uh, we did that diagonal walk, which saved us. So let's go ahead and uh, end the turn. Let me think. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and he might get a free attack. Do we want to take a look at our cards? Um, let's see. Uh, target a Terminator until his next turn. He gains guard. Not exactly sure what that means. Um, until the end of the turn, plus one and range six for his overwatch. Mm, I'd love to use that card for him. Um, but then the question is, is does he automatically get put into Overwatch? Or do we have to have the points to put him into Overwatch? Interesting question. Um, target Terminator, the next shot is a success. So we can trade that card in and get uh, four, but we don't have enough command points. Nope, let's just go... Oh, wrong button. Let's just uh, go ahead and end the turn and see how badly we screwed up. Okay, so it looks like the blip that was here disappeared. So it wasn't a... wasn't really there essentially or you know it's like the thing you can reveal it it has uh, zero to three gene stealers so it looks like two of the blips are coming towards our main body and two of the blips are coming here so we can start off here with putting him into overwatch which i believe is two uh yep and then two again to confirm So he's got that entire corridor. That is fantastical. And he still has two APs left in case his gun jams. Um, this guy, can we put him into Overwatch? Um, firing position until the next turn, the Gene Stealers, yada, yada, yada. Yes, so it looks like he was able to go into Overwatch also. So if the heavy weapons guy drops, he's still a backup. That's nice. Okay, so he needs to interact with the door and open it. And then we can move him. If we move him here, he's not gonna have enough points to go into Overwatch. And then these guys have one, two, three. Hello. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. They can reach us. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Hmm. What do I want to do? Move him forward. His Overwatch isn't really going to do any good. Um, I think he gets a free attack. So, we'll see. And then the, uh, sergeant. We can just move him forward. And have him face the correct direction so he can sidestep later so um, this guy is the only guy with any AP points left and okay both of them and we want to leave it that way so let's go ahead and end the turn It was at this point, Grits knew he fucked up. Okay, um, that did not go as I had planned at all. Lovely. So it looks like all the gene stealers are stacking up on us. Um, I have a feeling this is going to get ugly in a hurry. 
So let's uh, start out over here. We will take this guy and um, we will just have him attack. It's a uh, one AP point. Um, odds of winning are 31 percent. Oh joy. Uh, let's go into forward mode. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put uh, another AP into attack. Mm, we missed again? Um, interesting. Another one? Okay, we had a 69% chance of hitting that. But it didn't didn't work. Fifty six percent chance of win. This is not good. Um, what is six? Auto shoot on move toggled on and off. I hope that's on. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what the heck we just did here. Um, let's go to our sergeant and let's see if we were to put him into overwatch right here mm, not sure that's gonna work for us can he back up Overwatch takes two, uh, what is five? Guard. So let's go ahead and put him in, into guard uh, and hope he don't die. Okay, so back to this guy here. We can move him forward one and then put him back into Overwatch. Okay, this guy will go into Overwatch. And does anybody else have any decent points? Nope. So, um, let us look at cards. For this guy here, we want some sort of melee card for him. Um, target a Terminator until his next turn he gains guard. That may not be a bad one. Um, that costs zero to do until the end of the turn. Plus one and range six in his Overwatch. You targets a Terminator. The next shot is a success. He's not going to be shooting though. He's going to be. Um, it's going to be a melee thing. So, I think he's lost already. Let's try this Overwatch deal. See if that helps him at all. Okay, so the card's played. Um, let's go back to him. He is facing... Which way? It's kind of facing the wall. If we back him up, he'll be at a minus two. I'm not convinced that'll help. Let's put him into Overwatch. Uh, takes firing position until the next turn. Yada yada yada. Prerequisites not met. Why? Probably because he's facing a wall. Okay, let's end the turn and see what happens. Okay, so he... He's doing a pretty good job. Hell yeah. Go, dude. Eh, okay. So... He did quite a bit of damage before he fell. Way to go, brother. 
You shall be remembered. Okay, um, you. We want to turn. And then uh, let's go. And can we do a melee? Yes. Okay. We missed. I think. Another melee? Oh, wow, that is loud. Oh, we fell. Oh, no. Bye, Sergeant. Um, that's not good. So, we have nobody in this corridor now, so you need to turn around and face this way. And then you need to go into Overwatch. Because of those guys coming in. You are still waiting for these gene stealers to come around the corners. So we might as well put you into Overwatch. The thing is, with this game, being passive is not how you survive. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's all we can do. Let's uh, go ahead and end the turn and see if we die. So it looks like the Jeed Stealers are buying their time. They don't want to move on us because they know they are going to die. Let's see here. Um, the T cycles through that. Sergeant's been defeated. That's not good. Um, trying to remember how we see the objectives. G. No, nope. X. That's the uh, the other map, and then the other view. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Um, now we do know we had a time frame, so just sitting here is not going to do us any favors. Um. We want him to move. Is that six? Auto shoot and move. So if he goes to here, faces that way, and then goes into Overwatch. Okay. He, if he moves forward, these guys are going to get him. Um, but we really have to take the offensive here. So let's let him move. See, I don't know what to do. Do I move him this way? Or the other way? Let's keep the squad together. Well, what's left of them. You know, the whole never leave your wingman thing. And let us see what happens. Yeah, see, we knew those guys were going to head this way. And these guys are just biding their time. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and move him forward. Okay, and then can we melee into him? No. Um, we should be able to do the move diagonal into him. 
Because he's right there. Can we shoot him? Let's get back into the other view. No, of course it's not going to let us. My is dead. Did we get him? Gene Stealer has been defeated, so that's good. Um, to my knowledge, there is nothing left in that direction. Um, that's the dead Gene Stealer. He's still got three AP points. Is he dead? Go into this view. Um, Gene Stealers are slightly red-ish. There's only one on the map. I think he's already dead. I think he tried to come around the corner and we killed him a while ago. So, if that's true, is there just the one gene stealer behind us? So this guy should turn around. And then we'll put him into overwatch to watch that corner. Um, we have five command points. Um, can we give him Terminator's next shot as a success? Let's go ahead and play that card on him and end the turn. Okay, he stopped just short of us being able to whack him. So if we move him forward, that's two. Then we should be able to shoot for one. And it worked. And we had a successful mission. Alrighty, guys. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that episode right there then. I'm going to thank you all for watching. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit a like. It is always appreciated on this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know you, what you think about this series. And until next time, be safe.